More migrant buses arriving in Philadelphia today. The city welcoming three more buses this morning. Well, what's being done to help them and the organization doing the work? Jeff, you went to find out for yourself tonight. Yeah, there's a lot of effort underway. We're actually standing right outside this welcome center. We are meeting some of these migrants, very happy to be in this country, understandably. Meantime, more buses into this community and more debate about it. Just before 6 this morning, and the first of three buses filled with asylum seekers arrives at 30th Street Station on board. Some 125 passengers part of the flow of nearly 500 migrants put on buses from Texas border towns and moved to East Coast cities willing to offer sanctuary. Are you happy? Yes. Yes. Very, very happy. Okay, thanks so much. Twelve buses have now lumbered into Philadelphia from Texas since the governor started filling them. The asylum seekers are from Ecuador, Colombia, Nicaragua, and even Cuba. Catherine Miller Wilson leads Highest PA, offering legal and other services to refugees and asylum seekers. These are people, they've traveled on foot through many, many countries. They've fled torture and persecution, and then to arrive, be given the stamp to be permitted to come into this country, and then to be thrown onto a bus unceremoniously is outrageous. The asylum seekers were handed blankets and placed on SEPTA buses for a ride to the city's welcome center in Juniata. Miller Wilson Wilson argues the challenge of illegal immigration could be eased if asylum seekers were allowed to work while their asylum claims are processed. If you're not allowed to work, you're dependent, and that's the issue. And this could be solved so simply, just allow them to work. Philadelphia is paying for the care of the asylum seekers with city funds, help from community groups and donations from residents. The city plans to seek grant funding. Many arriving here quickly leave to find family living outside the region this man fled Cuba, is on his way to Rochester, New York, and is joyous to be here. Bien, bien. He bien. said that he's very, very good for the travel and he's very happy because he's in the United States of America because the government in Cuba is a, a, a serious problem in this moment. Again, asylum seekers coming out of this welcoming center behind us, very thankful, thanking us, patting us on the shoulders as if we had something to do with all this. The city has set up what it calls a welcoming fund for Renate's re uh, residents to donate to if they want to help out in this effort. Live in Juniata, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News, folks. Thank you, Jeff, and we'll be right back.